New York City investors, I'm going to show you how to pull off a bird deal for 90 grand. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Nails the Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. And I'm going to show New York City investors how to pull off a bird deal for 90 grand, okay? For those of you that don't know what bird means, right? It's an acronym. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You buy a crummy house, you fix it up, put tenants in there, refinance it, get some of your money back. You create equity, right? I'm going to show you guys how to do that because I'm working with my man named Augie. Augie's an investor from New York, and Augie don't like overpaying for properties. Augie does not like being told how much he can and cannot charge for rent, right? We ain't got no rent control out here. Y'all have that in New York. We don't like that shit, okay? So what we do is we help investors like Augie invest in markets that make sense, and we handle all the dirty work. So if you guys like that, you like what you see, subscribe to Holton Wise TV on any social media platform. You could join Holton Wise TV on YouTube to get access to all of our premium contents, $4.99 a month. We've got almost a 1,000 episodes just like this that you can't see any other way. And on top of all that, if you really like what you're doing and you want to get in the game, you want to take action, you want to be like Augie, get your own set of customized videos and work with your boy Jay Wise one-on-one, -on -one, send us an email, give my team your phone number, we'll talk to you about the process, and then you'll get videos like this. And Augie, I think you're going to be pretty darn excited about this particular bird deal because I'm projecting out a cash-on-cash -cash return of, I wrote it down, approximately 34%. Let's dive into the numbers, the good, the bad, the neighborhood, the whole shebang right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers of this bird deal, right? Just so everyone's aware, if you're new to the show, new to real estate, you don't know what a bird deal is, you think I'm cold? I mean, I'm a cold some bitch. you know what I'm saying? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about an acronym. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? This is a great candidate for it, okay? 4214 Trowbridge Ave, Cleveland, 44109. It's been on the market for three weeks, the price sixty two nine. This thing is screwed up. Screw that up. Screw that. Up. Let me do it again. This thing is screwed up. I'm trying to get my Bruce Buffer in here. All right, this property's jacked. Okay, and to pull off a bird, you need a jacked property, folks. Right? Because the idea here is you buy a property cash. Right? You buy it cash, it's so screwed up, you got to renovate it and you add value, right? After you renovate it, you put tenants in there. You want the bank to appraise it for a price higher than your acquisition and rehab costs, right? That way you can get into the deal for less money than normal. And this thing is freaking jacked, man. First of all, it's got wood paint on the outside, right? It's not vinyl sided, right? So you got peeling paint all over this thing. Probably lead-based paint if I had to guess, right? So that's going to add some costs. You're going to have to take care of that big old house like this, peeling lead-based paint everywhere. The inside is no better. Nothing's going to remain untouched, right? Everything in this particular property needs to be taken care of. This is truly a jacked up property, but it's a very large property, right? It's a big old duplex, and it's ugly, man, but we want it to be ugly, right? This is good. This is great. How gross this is is why you can pick it up for such a low price, okay? All this peel and paint that's just begging for us as investors to come in and turn a profit on this thing. Let's talk the neighborhood real quick, all right? Let's talk the neighborhood. Let me pull up the map for you. I think this is an awesome neighborhood, awesome opportunity, okay? Now, when I say awesome, that doesn't mean it's like 
you know, like high end or like rich folk are going to like live there. Okay, no. Uh, awesome in regards to rental property investing. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite rental property investment area in the city of Cleveland and the entire Cleveland market. But if you view my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you'll see I grade this as a D-grade neighborhood, right? This is the type of neighborhood you want to do Section 8. This is the type of neighborhood you're going to run into a lot of tenants uh, with high risk, right? But it's my favorite, my absolute favorite right because we don't make any money invest in those a-grade neighborhoods folks that's for owner occupied people right if we're looking at the uh areas in which we can make money right c and d right it's our bread and butter okay our bread and butter is c and d and i think this one has the most upside right that's the house where the little green dot thingy is right house and then this right here is metro health right down the street right you walk your dog well more accurately your tenants could walk their dog right down trail bridge get to metro health i've talked about this many times the reason i like houses near metro health is because that hospital is investing a billion bucks into that campus you see right there down the street from this particular property as well as the surrounding neighborhood they're doing low-income housing and everything right so if there is a lot of c and greed c and d grade neighborhoods in the in the cleveland area right there's a lot of them right we had no shortage of that around here right why would you want to invest in any one of them other than the one that's getting a billion dollar injection in addition to that if you guys, you know, on a national level are looking at Cleveland, hearing about the resurgence of Cleveland, what they're talking about, like calling Cleveland the comeback city, what they're talking about, okay, they're talking about neighborhoods like Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, downtown Cleveland, Lake Erie area, right? These are all incredibly expensive areas. Those types of neighborhoods, you ain't getting houses for 60 freaking grand over there, no. Like they're building new construction houses for five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars in those areas, right? Those have already been gentrified. Those have already faced a turnaround. Well, guess what? Our property borders, all of them, right? This Clark Fulton Metro Health area is just south of all the hot stuff, and it's getting a billion dollar investment, right? So what I like to do to deal with the existing risk of a low income neighborhood. I go Section 8 on my rentals over there, right? Because Section 8 is the cheat code, right? Now, when we're dealing with low-income rentals, that's the biggest problem is people can't get the rent all the time. And then, of course, we have to evict them. And then when we evict them, the property, it goes vacant. Once the property's vacant, vandals can come in and screw it all up. Then you got to pay renovations and then re-renovations, leasing fees, releasing fees. You're not getting any rent. It's a whole downward spiral. You can circumvent all that, cut it all off, get rid of all the bad juju if you could solve one problem, and that is being able to keep your tenants in your unit paying your rent. And you do that by making the government pay it because the government pays every single month, folks. So that is why I love Section 8. Now, let's talk numbers. Numero unos. They're asking 62.9. The property is horrible, right? What are you going to do? How do we make this thing make money, right? I dig the neighborhood, but none of that matters to you unless it makes you money, right? As far as rents go, after we renovate this, you'd be looking at $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year, right? As far as what you get to keep out of that under normal projections using fixed and variable expense estimates, right? $18K is supposed to come in for the year. Normal operating expenses, you paying Holton Wise to handle everything for you, I believe you will net approximately $8,872.92 a year. Won't be the same every year, okay? You know, some years are going to be good, some are going to be bad, faster femen. Uh, when you have to do things like replace a roof, replace a hot water tank, things of that nature, right? Obviously, your return for that year is going to go down. That's why I average it out with the vacancy, non-payment, repairs, maintenance, and CapEx, right? I average all that out. Those are some variable expenses, right? As far as price, I think we're going to have to pay uh, six, or uh, I'm sorry, as far as price, they're asking 629. I don't think we can pay 62.9 because we're going to have to put $60,000 into this, right? $60,000 is going to have to go into this thing because it's all screwed up, man, right? Just the exterior stuff alone with the lead-based paint, that's going to run you a bunch of money. We're looking at 
Oh, I don't know. Anywhere between 10 and 20K inside each of those units. Probably going to have to do the roof like 7K. Furnaces, 3K a piece. Hot water tanks, maybe 1K a piece, right? So just ballparking it from where I'm standing in my studio right now. Obviously, we haven't done a third-party inspection, which if you go under contract on this property, that's what you'll want to do. I anticipate a renovation cost of approximately 60K. That means paying 62 Nine is not doable, right? What makes sense is paying 30 for it. And I think that lead-based paint's going to scare a lot of people away. Holton Wise, we deal with the lead-based paint certifications. We have no problem handling that stuff, right? We do a lot of things out here that a lot of other property management companies and construction companies don't like dealing with, right? They don't like these lead-based paint things. We're fine with them, right? All the lead-based paint stuff, that's new, right? Holton Wise, we're covered, right? We got it under control, right? You know what else property managers and uh, stuff like that around here don't like to do? They don't like to deal with Section 8. As I said, if you're going to invest in these types of neighborhoods, Section 8, in my opinion, is the cheat code to success. So we, of course, handle Section 8, right? I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate like this, and I'm telling you, the best way to run these types of properties is with Section 8 tenants. We handle all the Section 8 stuff for you guys. Go check out our fact on HoltonWise.com if you don't believe me, right? So pick it up for 30. Holton Wise can handle the reno. I anticipate it being approximately 60. That puts you all in at 90K. 90K into the deal. At that point, I believe the bank will appraise it at approximately 100K, right? We created $10,000 of equity doing the deal the bank gives you back 75 of your original 90 meaning you only have fifteen thousand dollars into the deal and that folks would turn out to be a 34 percent estimated cash on cash return not bad for being able to do it passively not bad for being able to do it with less than a hundred thousand dollars not bad for being able to do it without doing any of the dirty work Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.